Hello comrade, we are right where we left off in last episode. Today I will talk about my border strategy and do some planning and prepare for the next episode. So let's get started. Hello, and before we do all of that, let me do some little changes, just two. So this is our uh, new construction area and it's coming along fine. So give me the GUI. I want to connect this little power station here. Substation. Uh, yep. Yeah. And assign it so it gets built. And make it two. Okay, good. And I want to extend this one here. This storage. So... Do I want... Maybe I want to have this... Yeah, exactly. That's what the Dennis ordered. And, oh, uh, yes, you, okay, Ooh. okay, mm. let's accept that. And then we need to create the rail access, because the rail construction here is going fine and fast. Okay, good. What I also want to have is a helicopter pod, this one. Can have you like here? Yes. Not rotate. Yeah. Okay. The train line out. Uh oh. Do you fit here? Yeah, this makes us a super safe helicopter landing. Place. Hmm. Like it. Okay. Good. Let's put it all in production. Okay. Ah, and make you high priority. Also the corresponding line. Yes. Before we go away, we can also assign some people. So if you are here done, you can also make this one happen. And you can make... What should you do? Maybe this? Yeah. And the most important thing, what's happening with the coal mine? Okay. They are on it. Good. So, we can concentrate on the... Ah. No, we can't. <laughs> um, you are not connected. And you can be connected. It's storages. And the fourth... Boop, boop. Okay, good. Now, now we can come to the uh, main topic of this episode. So, um, our 
coal industry is running great. So you see there are only two trains waiting and the others are at the border post. The border post is faster than our trains are. So at the moment there are some waiting, there's one waiting, but uh, the slowest part is the coal production. So because if, if the border post would be slower than the coal production, there will be all trains waiting at the border post, which they don't do. If this thing overflows, the coal gets pushed into the left side. Um, so, yeah, but I don't think it will overflow because here Big Daddy is coming. Oh my God, this is, I don't know why I, I really like this behemoth on the rail. <laughs> yeah looks like serious business when they are sneaking around. Maybe next border post will be even longer. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, check the productivity. So... No. Could produce more. Yes. Do we put the intellectuals into the mines? Yes. Intellectuals are getting into the mines. Yeah. Okay, good. Also, we have some production of normal coal. Which is completely waste <laughs> for the steel mill. Okay, good. But I think the uh, mines will be stocked fully. So here's coming one train and they're going in. Yes, climbing up the hill. Ooh! This one looks faster. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. So the mines should run on very full soon. It's only because there's a lot of construction activity happening here. Okay. Main topic of the show. First, I want to give you a little overview what we do with our all of the border posts and where we are and what the general strategy is. So let's start, uh, for example, here. Um, here somewhere. Uh, okay, no, it's here. Here is the end of the long road. And the long road is moving on fine. So at the moment, only people, we need a paver. But um, 9,000 workdays, which should, should not take so long. Yeah. Then we have road access here, which is the most north, let's call it northwest point of this map. And uh, we can connect the rail station here for general purposes. And we will also create three construction offices. I want to have uh, construction offices, offices on tap on every border. Because if I decide to build something there, I want to have them. And I built a free construction office to build normal construction office to expand. Next border is right around the corner. This is this one. And here... Uh, we have two construction offices and I can build a third. Like right now. To go in like the... Yeah. And why three? Because uh, one is only there to build roads. The second one is only a uh, general construction office which has everything. And the third one is there to... Maybe I want to have a little bit... Are we not? Um, and the third one is there for people. So uh, some people in the crane. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, whatever this. It's really, it's not the end of the world. But this is, um, yeah. And this is my construction office where I can create be fast. Where's the point? Why do I don't I see them? Here it is. A hidden point? Maybe last update will hide them. <laughs> Just to be cruel. Okay. Uh, you are hopefully in auto search, yes. And have everything assigned? No? 
Okay. And you also. Okay. The planning for this border pause is after uh, I have the initial setup developed, I will go here and create here a general construction of a zone which we see where I uh, placed the helicopter landing pad. So this one will be also a general construction zone with all the goods we need and uh, we can go land inwards. And also here on this hill there is a uh, coal deposit. So this border is also for coal export. Or raw coal export better to say. Yeah. Okay. And let's go to the next border post. The next two are these ones. This one is an electrified border post with a depot. I can pull out electrified trains or um, trams, for example, easy access. It's a general purpose border post at the moment. It will be used in the future for coal-based exports. So uh, coal-based product exports. Uh, I want to check out if, for example, my brick, brick industry can be piped through there. And uh, the next border post on the east side, uh, on the west side is this one. We're talking west. Yeah, the big one. Okay. We uh, know and love him. Here's one border post which I haven't tapped into. This is this one. It's also a very useful one for our purposes because it has a, a power export. And on this hilltop, uh, we can have a quite good uh, coal mine. Like 50% should be possible here. So we can build a little city here and uh, do some shenanigans with the coal. <laughs> Next border post is one of our first border posts. Here is the first coal export border post. It was able to export 4,000, uh, 5,400 tons of coal roundabout per month. Uh, so theoretically, theoretically it is, pos it is uh, able to export 200 tons per month of coal. Yeah. Then we had our coal, uh, our oil area, where we have um, a little border post here, which I have skipped. Where was it? Yeah, here. Not so significant, help with our construction and so on and so forth. Uh, small border posts we cannot use too much. Um, yeah. Then we have the border post here. Uh, which is there for oil and fuel export and it will be oil and fuel export via rail which uh, then frees up a lot of oil tanks here and ah oh it's already built okay a commenter said we can build it underground or partially under over maybe i will do it because this thing is ruddy unattractive <laughs> but it will do the job so yeah Okay, and like I said, uh, if you have a fuel station in normal scenarios, always, always, always use pumps. Um, because I let it fill up here, it will fill up the fuel station, but under normal circumstances, you need to pump. Okay, so this is our little pumping, um, pumping fuel station for our trains, which, uh, yeah, will manage the trains and uh, maybe... I can, or I will connect the train networks to our other network and uh, everything, everything will be fine. I also want to pull out the train here to export to the west. Because at the moment, if you want to export to the west, we have quite a long way and our dollars are not in check. So let me see. Export, please, yes. And here, no. Okay. I want to have some. Doleros. Okay. Then the next one is here, which is um, not a border post, but a. I'll go to Stalinek. A fire station. Uh, the fire station is here because I need to have uh, fire coverage everywhere, and um, this fire station protects. Uh, where, where are you? Kind of this area. And um, the first thing it will protect is here's a small border post without a rail connection but it's great because we can pull out some vehicles so we have again applied the strategy of three construction offices and uh, here we have one construction office and it will get another uh, 
for road building and a third for to provide people and the road crane which is a winning strategy okay good so we can fill this one up we have some new dumpers which is the give me total capacity uh, the cars and this one the, what do we have for colors Ooh, very aggressive okay two of them and two concrete mixers also one for it okay rather boring and two open holes skd but i think we have yeah let's let's build it a 148 fleet um he's a little bit faster and fast is good okay so how two 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 I still have two left so it will be or must be a bus going from the backward mm. yeah this one is really good for our purposes it has uh, 32 passengers and it fits uh, very good to a road construction train which we cannot afford here because we need a cover toll. Um, which one will we take? So by capacity. Maybe this one, the J one. Yeah, make it so. Okay, good. Then we assign the stuff it needs. Okay, no blip, which is always a little bit nerve wracking. Okay, and then we say 3000 meters. Hopefully, you don't burn down before you can build a fire station. We say this one has high priority, this one has medium priority. Yep, okay. So they get on it. Okay, this one is the uh, our traditional border post to the west, uh, road to Canada. Um, and we are in the east, so it's perfectly fine if we assume this is north. Um, yeah. So it was for oil exports and uh, to get some uh, dollars back. Because at the start of the game, uh, we need we started with zero rubles and dollars, and I wanted to have some dollar, dollars to uh, buy some cheap people from the west. Yeah. Okay. This long road is going on and uh, will take some time. Which is completely fine. So the end of the long road. We are here and the long road is going here to the whole country. To this west border. And uh, the west border here. Is it a good border or a bad border? Oh, it's a good border. And maybe you find some coal which we can throw over this border. Uh, which is our whole purpose in life. So you see we have this long road and we have this long road and we can link these roads together and we have some access to the country which we don't have is access to this one here to the west side uh, which is a little bit hilly and not so pleasant to work with but uh, I also want to have on some point here access for example to this border so yeah we have everything in reach borders are very important one for export and two because they can give us all the construction materials we want yeah so this is uh, the general strategy and how it develops uh, most of the eastern borders we have on tap but we want more and we will get more okay because we are here on this side let's take a look so here's the long road yes they get delivered and activated okay good that's nice. 
And the biggest enemy of this expansion strategy is fires, because the uh, construction offices can burn. And uh, if something can burn in this game, it will burn. All to rule of the trade. Yeah. Okay, it's high priority. So here we can make some room for our heli heliport. These fire stations will be automated. Have a range of 3000 meters. I want to have uh, three helicopters here, so uh, it is safe that they will put out every fire they encounter. Still need more place space. Or do we want to go in there? Why is it isn't it highlighted? Let's see. Okay. Ah, uh, now we are playing ball. Hmm. Yes. Okay. I cannot connect it because the road is ongoing. Don't want to disturb the road again. Um, yeah, so he can put up fires uh, on the right side here, which is 2600 meters, but also we can create a construction office or some bases here, and he will put out the fires here. That's why this thing existed. And we need to put off these fire stations all over the place, like we do construction offices. Okay. I've talked about the big power plants uh, in the last episode and I want to have here also some power because I want to have a really reliable power production. I don't want to use brownouts and nonsense like this. So we go like here somewhere, which is 800 meters is enough. So the power plant can exist here. We also have here, yeah. Quite a strong oil vein and or oil depot, uh, which we can take advantage of and uh, oh, also here. Can pipe it into the power plant. Yeah. Funny enough, it's a gas power plant which runs with crude oil. We don't need to use any sleepless nights about that. Um, yeah. So, that's a good amount of inputs. Let's align you somehow to this one. Okay. Oh, what did we say? Maybe like here. And I can move also my uh, heating plant, which I haven't made my mind about up yet, but I think it's a good idea. Um, so our people get poisoned a little bit less. And if we here introduce a stable bus service, which we need for the power plant, uh, then the heating plant is also welcome. make it asphalt. Can I get a small one? No, I can't. Okay. Good. Okay. 
put it into production. Uh, my boss, my boys should pick it up. Okay. So we have this one. We have this one. We have rail construction working. Uh, let's check the range of the rail construction office. Is it set to yeah, maximum range? Okay. Good. Yeah. Good. So and on we go. Our little empire of uh, throwing coal over the border. Mm. Yeah, nothing special happened for a long time. Something special can happen. I think uh, with the next episode, I will um, create a bypass here for the call because I want to have another call train here. Yep. And um, I need a waiting area because I don't want the three call trains to uh, block up everything because we only have three bypasses here by the steel mill which is a very important thing because like you see some trains needed to turn around for example and go here and there yeah at the moment it's running fine and i don't want to disturb it too much okay this is going on uh, nobody lives here and nobody get power here and also same situation like here and here yeah Okay, they got power. That's good. Let's add some construction offices to those footpaths because I see they are not finished. Good. Check the coal mine for productivity. Yeah, I see. It's filling up and it's going on max production. 40% and we create the 350 tons, 360 tons, uh, 350 of coal. I said every 10% you can calculate uh, 100 tons. You can also calculate 90 tons if you want to be super exact. The productivity of the worker plays an influence uh, on this one. So uh, we don't know what the loyalty is, but uh, <laughs> for productivity 51%. Oh, 62%. He's one of the newcomers. Let's select one. Maybe it's 59%. What's going on? Why are you so unhappy in his minds? Here's one happy bugger. 90%, 116%. Why are these people so unhappy which are going to the mines? I don't understand. Maybe it's really because many of them moved in here. 90%, yes. This one is not... Okay. Hmm. I don't know. You're all fine. Also here, please don't complain. 70 something percent. It's just, ah, I opened this one, the last one, but uh, what does your neighbor say? 80 something percent, yeah. Ah, what also could be good, here is a kindergarten on the hilltop. Mm. Let's create a kindergarten. Yeah, it's near you, why not? Check the alignment. Yep. Okay. Also assign some people here because this one will not have any mechanizations here. Okay. What's on this front here? Mm. Still no secret police. Nearly done. Need workers, have workers, okay. Okay, so uh, we can set up something, which is a little bit funny because it does not work, but uh, if the people are not checked, everybody's allowed. If they are checked, some are allowed. So let's reduce you only the elite. Hmm. You should have some 65% people. And also here, so we don't forget.
Okay. And also at other school. Yeah. Which is the school of the heat exchanger. Okay. Good. So our valuable academics can go somewhere else. I do want to have a pub here somewhere, which I haven't had. Um, there's only a pub here on the right side, and the comrades here on the bottom side are completely cut off the alcohol. Which is a tragedy. 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 Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Tragic. Tragedy. Tra Forget it. Too simple minded to speak some English. Um, yes. Tragedy. Ah. Something, something. Very tragic. <laughs> yes. Tragedy. But it sounds funny. I have a well-connected pub. Construction number one. Yes. And number three. So nobody gets bored. Okay. Good. So, city is dealt with. And, ah! Plans for the next episode. And I will also say it at the end again. But say two times um next episode will be a build episode which will come out uh what this episode is no no stop back <laughs> collect okay this is a construction uh, this is a planning episode and next episode will be a build session again and i will publish this episode on friday morning and uh, build session on saturday and the recap session on sunday uh, the build sessions are optional. I will talk about the changes in the recap. And I don't think it will be such a high entertaining <laughs> build session like the last one. I really had fun with the big trains. But I will do some things in the build session uh, which maybe will be interesting or not. For example, starting this one, setting up more helicopter construction. Maybe, maybe. I cannot, <laughs> I cannot say anything. Um, the electric hill here have some time. I'm really not rushing it because um, I want to see the influence of this uh, call operation here. So have it unfold fully <laughs> before we start to change some other uh, variables. And uh, having three coal mines only for export is a big, big change in uh, price. Yeah. And I'm excited for it. Okay. So. We have this one, and um, yeah, that's the plan, and we're sticking to it. The next thing I want to do here is to create a second construction area, um, which also will provide our country with gravel. <laughs> so it will be the here, the um, inland gravel distribution. Okay, let's see how we are with this all hill, hill situation will become important in a minute. So I will create a big construction area here and uh, our plan and uh, create a little support town here to uh, support the construction area and the rail construction area. Just a combined one, everything in one, why not? Always a good idea. Makes our life more easy. <laughs> no, doesn't. But I like it and I want it. Okay. So first we start with view and build our little quarry here. Let's mirror you. I always go a little bit to the left, right and back and front and center, so I have an easier time laying this one out. Okay. 
Good. Next. I want to have big storage site and also... Um, oh, you will see. Let's build it. So the classic... Uh, big storage solution. Maybe we could... Should we elevate it? Hmm. Goes down here, so yeah, maybe we could keep it elevated. So let's take out our excavators and put them to work. Um, please. Okay. We are normal speed. Yeah, hopefully they will not go for fuel. So let's take this one as our zero point here. Let's pull out the smoothing iron. Yes. Oh, you are going. Yeah. That's what I like to see. Why this one? Because uh, if I use the radio station to smooth the terrain, which is perfectly sane, um, we have the power of the excavators and not have one bulldozer. So I have three excavators on site and only one bulldozer. So this one goes really faster than the other option. Okay, good. So next, rail construction. And we have the construction thingy here. I should know it. Okay. Hmm. Let's place it like... Yeah? Oh... Uh, do I want the road going out or this other way? Maybe I want. Okay. To place you like. Yeah. Okay. Good. And now the loading facility. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you beautiful bugger. Get me. Mirrored. Get me mirrored. Get me rotated. Yes. Okay. You can go in like... Yeah. Okay. Good. So you have these two. Now I want to have uh, open goods here. And I want to have a slightly different layout than the last one, because different layouts are fun. <laughs> so, let's make it like this. 
and I want to have uh, here and here connected uh, the storages which uh, the things which he needs the most and these are Mm. Steel and prefer panels. Yes. Okay. And next. Mm, this will be the fun part. So we want helicopters, and uh, so we need helicopter landing pad zones. You know. Mm, so, mm, mm, mm. and this one needs to do two things. I need to come over the rails, and I need to connect to these two. Uh, yes. So let's try you like here, and try your body like here. And make you like so. Yes. Okay. Now it now it becomes interesting. So if you go like here and you go like here. Yes. Can I go with the rail over you? Yes. Okay. Good. Good good good. So we go with you like so and so. Okay. Mm. What does the lead say? Lead is going down. It will not help me in my efforts. Okay, I need the rail on this side, yes. Why don't we? Oh, maybe. Why do you not show me your connection? We need to be somewhere like here. Okay. Can I pick you up? Yes. Oh. I want to have it a little bit like similar like this. Maybe. Thank you. It isn't. To go more like here. Yeah, can do. Now the next one is the rail. <laughs> Ooh, yes, 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 yes. So rotate you and mirror you and rotate you. Okay, everything is at the right side. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. Good. So this is the uh, not perfect layout. Wait a minute. It will be perfect. <laughs> uh, whatever. Uh, yep. No. Yes. Don't you bugger me. Do I have any wobbly terrible things we can de-wobble it a little bit I think um, yes Um. 
Okay. Nice. So, uh, planks. Uh, planks? No. Uh, we will have here prefab panels and steel and the other goods here and we will provide them via road connection. That was the road connection. Ah, thank God. <laughs> I'm on the right side. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Okay. Good. So, if city will be here, we need some uh, usual construction stuffs. Which we will get through here. Like the road on the other side. Oh, the silly will be fun. Where are we here? Okay. So we can have a um, loading thingy here. Yes. Um, yes. Let's put you in here, so. Mirror, street access to the other side. Okay. Just like so, and... Like so, because we have the money now. Okay, good. Construction industry. Okay. Yeah. Concrete is the easier one because it has the same connection to the road. Have I rotated? No? Everything fine. So we can have on one side helicopter access and on the other side the bulk storage. Yes. And our beloved asphalt plant. I can also remove, I'm sorry. Uh, I think I can remove this one. And have the beloved asphalt plant connected directly to the last one. Uh, nuclear? What? No? We don't want to start with nuclear <laughs> industry by accident. Okay. So, yeah. Here's a really weird output of the road. Not my favorite plant in the world. So he can have some helicopter next to him. Like here. Okay. Then we have the construction. We have a road here. Oh, that's tight. 
it's also not the best idea. change the strategy a little bit. Yes. And the rails can come out. Yeah. Okay. But I think they will go out somewhere here. Okay. Build you? What? Okay. Ah, I've built the rails. Or uh, whatever. Build the roads. Okay. Uh, one parter, as we expected. <laughs> Okay, construction offices are on it. Were you successful, little buddies? You were. Okay. But I will not change any setup now. I can only... Make this one. Yes. Okay, good. So, they will take care. Our construction is going well. Our date is... 18th of Jewel. Let's get double speed um, to see, um, take a little look of our call activity. Okay, this one is good and good, good, good. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. Good. Maybe I will make a nice screenshot of that one. It's a great one. But also, uh, our fine trains needs to shine. Um, I can pull out the road also here. Okay. A three parter. Okay, we need to stop you. Okay. And you are again. Good. Okay. Oops. So, I think you are well equipped for everything. This is a big road building. You yeah, see here. Okay. Yeah, they will do the job. Good. Oh well. So, we are up for the next build episode. <laughs> like I said, um, next build session will come for the weekend. For your pleasure and mine. <laughs> yes. Uh, this one is going on good. Yeah. And, uh, oh, next month. Okay. So we can look into our call shenanigans. Uh, did we make some progress here on the hill? Hmm. Look at that. Yeah, looks good. So let's assign the big boys also to you. Yeah. On medium. Okay. Good. Ah, also this one is preparing. Yeah. The power plants need a really lot of steel. So, for example, he has 13 tons and he needs 68 and all in all he needs 274. Uh, yeah. But our steel mill should keep up. Yeah. Because our... Uh, Road, railroad construction activities were slowing down. He is also better keeping up with our demands. Okay, we can optimize the beetle production now. <laughs> Good. 
Ah. Okay, good. So these are now open for shenanigans. <laughs> Maybe you can lay in a fire or two. Hmm? Good. Also open. And also open. Good, 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 good. Happening is seventy one percent. They really don't like to move. It's eighty two. Also, they need their vodka. Mm. Oh! That's surprising. Yeah, no matter, they are not happy. Have a pub without vodka. Okay. So... Should have good reachability to everywhere. Okay, everything is sold. Okay, good. If you don't go to the pub, you can go to the auto scooter, comrade. But this issue needs to be fixed. Okay, fixing is on the way. Okay, sometimes they're really. Uh, Interesting how fast things can go. Is the secret police working? And sometimes you are amazed how slow things can go. Yeah. Also this heat pipe. I want to have finished. Give me number two. Yes. So our secret police does not freeze their little secret balls up. Off. Okay. I check the criminality. It's going good. Uh, we reach pre-crime generation when we have 12,000 people, which is now. <laughs> Happy 12,000. Um, yeah. So we can buy them some additional fire uh, firefighters, police cars. <laughs> uh, and two. A police station works better, funny enough, with less cars than with too, mal too many. But you also need to adjust accordingly. So the court. Get 25. Just to feel better. Mm. Still no word on your loyalty. I also need to place some red stars here. Well, yeah, let's do it now. I still want to have my 20% of loyalty generation, which helps out with the radio. Let's give them comrade also a red star. Here's fine place for parking space, honestly. Um, so maybe like here somewhere. But there's no space. What a shame. Oh, this is a good place. Okay. Let's start. Let's start. And red star. Good. Next comes trees. <laughs> if here everything is dandy. Mm -hmm. Let's assign them also. Because you never know. Construction office has a lot to do these days. Okay, good. Yeah, this is shit taking shape. It's all nice. <laughs> good. Uh, before I catch myself up into the mist of uh, constructing, constructing, constructing. 
Uh, let's see. So, check the border. Ooh, border's empty. Here's one of the big ones. But they should be fine. Yes. Pull out the coal of the land, comrades. Yes. And maybe too much, yes. <laughs> Let's see. Um, yeah, already too much, yes. <laughs> so I need to tune you down. They still find their jobs completely, but yes, there are too many of them. Okay. We will regulate it in the build episode uh, sometime to uh, to balance it. So, the question of the question, which I most likely will sp have spoiled. <laughs> what is my export um, last month? Soviet Republic Core or 21,000. It's nice. Nice. It's more than expected. But here was a little down period. So I think we can go even higher. Uh, <laughs> but over oh, 20,000 tons of something, something. I don't know if you have exported such a thing ever. I didn't. <laughs> and it brings in less money than our bauxite. <laughs> yes. So I, uh, I thought my border will do 12,000. So it, it is nearly double the number. And what does it do to the price of coal and coal ore? Mm -mm -mm. It's a very short in interval because we are exporting only a couple of months. Uh, but maybe we can see something or not. Coal ore. Let's go on all. Six ruble forty. Yes, there's a trend. <laughs> but coal is still 28. Oh, that's bad. You bugger. I want to push the coal down. Hmm. Okay. So coal or we do a good job. Coal, not so much. But we will see. See what the future brings. Uh, if we have a stable export. Yep. And um, the prices need to settle in a little bit. So, yeah. Fuel is keeping up. Let's check the fuel at our station here. Here. Okay. Yeah, 59%. We need to change something here. Uh, but change is coming. So, oh. I want to close this episode. <laughs> Chase is coming in form of here. So we have some good fuel soldiers waiting to export. And uh, yeah, we can reuse this export distribution office to have the domestic fuel distribution managed because these here are overloaded with the current call operation. Okay, good. So, comrade, I say see you next time see you maybe for the build episode but uh, as i said the build episode will not be so spectacular like the last one so you can also skip it if you want to i make it for because i have fun doing it and i have fun of uh, making some big steps and to make some progress all fine and uh, if you join me you're welcome if you join me on the recap episode you're also welcome and have a nice day have a good weekend see you bye